financial mathematics, mental math, times tables, 6 times 11 equals 66, 6 times 7 equals 42, addition, 55 plus 69 equals 124. Subtraction, 72 minus 67 equals 5. Division, 40 divided by 4 equals 10. Square numbers, the square of 2 equals 4. Square root of 4 equals 2. Cube numbers. The cube of 2 equals 8. And the cube root of 8 equals 2. Decimal addition. 10,2 plus 9,4 equals 19,6. Decimal subtraction. 17,6 minus 9 equals 8,6. Decimal multiplication 0, 0,3 times 0, 0,02 equals, now you can see 3 times 2 equals 6, and you just add all the places after the comma. 0, 0, 0,006. Fraction addition 2 over 5 plus 1 over 10. You cannot add. So you have to first find the lowest common multiple, which is 10. And now you can add. 4 plus 1 is 5 over 10, and that is a half. Fraction subtraction. 4 over 10 minus 2 over 20. Again, you cannot add. You have to find the lowest common multiple, which is 20. Once you have done that, you can subtract 8 minus 2 equals 6 over 20, and you have 3 over 10. Fraction multiplication, 7 over 8 times 3 over 4, 7 times 3 is 21, 8 times 4 is 32, and you have 21 over 32. Financial mathematics. Account. What is an account? It is an arrangement with a bank or a shop to buy now and you pay later. Examples are an Eclipse account, a Vodacom account, Water and Lights account, and School Fees account. Budget. A budget is the estimate of cost and revenues over a specific period. Commission. Commission is the fee charged by a broker or an agent for his or her service to facilitate a transaction such as the buying or selling of goods. For example, if you sell a car, the agent will be allowed to use a certain commission on that transaction. Discount. Discount is the amount deducted from the asking price before payment. For example, 15% discount on shoes selling for 399 at a shop you first have to calculate your discount, which is 15%, which means it's 15 over 100, times 399 Rand, which equals 59 Rand and 85 cents. So you will pay 399 Rand minus the discount, which is 59 Rand and 85 cents, and that equals to 339 Rand and 15 cents. Exchange rate. An exchange rate is the current market price for which one currency can be exchanged for another. For example, if the exchange rate is 9 Rand per $1, if you exchange 5,000 Rand for dollars, you will get a 5,000, you divide it by the 9, and you will get $555.56. Higher purchase. 
Higher Purchase is a system by which a buyer pays for an asset in regular installments while enjoying the use of it. For example, the higher purchase price of a refrigerator is 6,500. The deposit of 500 rand is made and the remainder is paid in equal monthly payments of 250. Calculate the number of monthly payments that must be made. You take 6,500 minus the deposit of 500 rand, which is 6,000 rand. The number of installments will be mean 6,000 rand divided by 250 and it gives you 24 installments. Higher purchase continued. If the cash price is 4,000 rand, express as a percentage of the cash price the extra cost of buying on higher purchase. 6,500 minus the 4,000 gives you 2,500. So you now you take the 2,500, you divide it by the 6,500 times 100, and that equals 38,46%, which means the extra cost is 38,46% that you pay more on this cash price if you higher purchase something. What is rate do they charge on higher purchase? The answer is simple interest, not compound interest. Financial mathematics. What is a loan? A loan is a sum of money that an individual or a company lends to an indiv individual or a company with the objective of gaining profits when the money is paid back. A loss? When less money is received from selling an asset than was paid to acquire it. Profit, the surplus remaining of the total cost are deducted from the total revenue. The difference between a selling price and a cost price. The selling price is more now, that's why you have a profit. Rent, in return for money, use of an item is granted for a specific amount of time. For example, you rent a flat, you rent a house, you rent equipment for a day. Simple interest. Simple interest is calculated only on the initial amount that you invested. The formula calculates the amount at the end of the investment. A equals P and then in brackets 1 plus I times N and you close the brackets. The I stands for interest and the R is the rate divided by 100. A is my future value, P is the original amount, the amount that you invest or that you borrow, I is the interest rate per annum, it means per year, and the N is the times in years. So let's do an example. Anna deposits 1000 Rand into a special bank account which pays a simple interest rate of 7% per annum, which means per year. She's doing this for three years. How much will be in an account at the end of the investment time? So let the P is what would you start with, the 1000 Rand. I is my interest rate, 7%. You cannot use 7%. You have to convert it to the 7 over 100, which is 0 0.07. N is for 3 years, it means it's 3 times, and then you substitute into the formula. A is 100,000, that's the P, 1 plus 0, 0,07 times 3, and your final answer is 1,210 Rand. So at the end of 3 years, Anna will have 1,210 Rand in her bank account. Compound interest. Compound interest is the interest earned on the principal amount and on its accumulated interest. Compound interest allow interest to be earned on interest. With simple interest, only the original investment earns interest. But with compound interest, the original investment and the interest earned on it. Both earn interest. Compound interest is an advantage when you're investing money 
but not for taking out a loan. Let's look at example 1. Consider the example of a 1,000 invested for 3 years with a bank that paid 7% compound interest. Calculate the final amount A. T is what you start with. The interest rate is 7%. 7 divided by 100 is 0 0.07. N is for 3 years. Substitute into your formula. A is P. 1 plus R divided by 100. And now the difference is N is to the power of. Remember you ha cannot use your I just like that. The interest. You have to divide your 7 or 8% by 100. So let's substitute the 1000 Rand, then 1 plus 7 over 100, which is the 7%, and you are going to, power, to the power of 3. The answer is then 1225,043. You have to round it to two decimals because we use two decimals in our currency, and it's 1225,04. At the end of the year, the investment will be 1,225 Rand and 4 cents. Next examples. Calculate the simple interest on 600 Rand at 7% for 3 years using the formula. This formula only calculates the interest earned. 600 Rand, the I is 7%, the interest, N equals 3 because it's 3 years. Now we're going to substitute into the formula. 600 Rand times 3 times 7 divided by 100 and it gives you 126 Rand. So the interest earned is 126 Rand on this investment. Okay, more examples. 800 Rand invested at R% percent per annum. Simple interest for a period of 3 years. Yields 168 Rand. Calculate the value of R. Substitute into the formula. PNR over 100. 800 Rand. So you have the simple interest yield was now 168 Rand. 800 Rand times 3 times R. We don't know what is the R. So we want to calculate this. So 168 is 24R, if you do the calculations, 800 times 3 divided by 100 gives you 24R. Now you're going to divide both sides by 24, and your R is then 7, which means the interest rate is 7%. Next examples. How long will it take for 3,000 Rand invested at 6% per annum Simple interest to grow to 4260. We're going to use this formula and we're going to substitute. Into the A, you substitute 4260 because that will be the final amount. Equals to 3000 Rand, 1 plus 0 0,06. Remember, 6% divided by 100 gives you 0 0,06 times N, which is the time. 4260 equals then 1 plus 0 0.06n because we divide both sides by 3000. It gives you 1,42 and then you move the 1 over to that side, minus 1, and it equals to 0 0.06n. Both sides you're going to divide now by 0 0.06 and n is then 7 years. So it will take 7 years for an investment of 3,000 Rand to grow to 4,260. Tenba borrowed 5,000 Rand from the bank for 3 years at 8% compound interest. Calculate how much Tenba owes the bank after 3 years. We start again with the same formula. But just remember compound interest is, is the n is to the power of. You substitute the 5,000 Rand inside the brackets is 1 plus 8 over 100, the 8%, and then you close the brackets to the power of 3. When you calculate this, the amount is 6,298 Rand and 56 cents. At 
the end of three years, Tembo owes the bank 6,298 rand and 56 cents.